There's a sense of tranquility here, where decades before children once played while attending the Chutla Indian Residential School in Carcross. Some never made it home. Well, of course, I'm thinking about my brother and, you know, how he might have run around here before he got sick. Weber says her brother Albert died at the age of five while attending the school, years before she was even born. My mother didn't know about it until time for kids to come home and he wasn't with them. But where he is buried is still unknown, leaving Weber and many other families from northern British Columbia, the Northwest Territories and Yukon wanting answers. Uh, the time is here. Now, the long-awaited search using ground-penetrating radar is underway. They're collecting data from a number of areas around the former school. We all need closure, right? We know that. So there's going to be a lot of uh, different emotions that are going to happen as, as we proceed. Thank you, thank you, Creator, finally. We're doing something about this. Harold Gattensby, a former student, lives near the site where the school was demolished. He says his neighbors can feel the presence of the missing children. That those little children that went missing want to be acknowledged and recognized. They want to be acknowledged. There is one thing left from the demolition, a chunk of concrete from the stairs. I did a painting of a child who attended residential school. Gattensby's daughter changed it from an eyesore to a symbol of honour. I'll be praying over the next few days uh, while they do this work here, but I'm, I am glad that they're doing the work. I really feel good because we're going to find answers, maybe not for me, but for others as well. Yep. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission says 20 students never made it home from the Chutla Residential School. Researchers working with the First Nations say they have discovered more than 60 children who died at the school. That number will grow. Results from the ground-penetrating radar are expected this fall. Three other former residential school sites in the Yukon will be searched at a later date. Juanita Taylor, CBC News, Carcross, Yukon.